It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Captain Lawrence Brewing Company and it's a can of their Effortless Grapefruit IPA. Coming in at 4.5% ABV, it's described as a grapefruit session IPA with fresh grapefruit or natural grapefruit flavour. It's been imported from America by Adnams. Adnams down in Southwold there. Nice crack on the can. Beer in the glass. Lovely pour. Really nice pour on that. A controlled pour. Uh, didn't kind of fly anywhere, but I give it a bit of a rigorous pour just to mix everything up, get everything into the into the glass. I like to see if it's a can conditioned beer. They've added some sediment here. So we've got a two finger white head, hazy looking beer. Everything's hazy these days. I think we just hit that that time where beer had to be clear. Thank goodness is, is well and truly gone. It's back to flavor rather than what a beer looks like with the eye. Um, quite large carbonation mixed with small carbonation. That might be one of two things. It might be that I have a dirty glass or, I don't know what Brewer once told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. So I'm, I'm hoping with this large carbonation that I'm going to have a good beer. <coughs> Pardon me. It was all going so well. Uh, the beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all around the world. Please check that out um, in the description box of the video. That'll take you to the website. And on with the beer review. Here we go. Aroma. It smells like grapefruit juice. It, it smells like a multi kind of a multi kind of drink with 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 lots of grapefruit zest added to the beer. And I'm pulled. I'm pulled in two different directions with this. Um, I've been drinking a lot of craft beers from around the world that for the last 10 years that have had natural grapefruit aromas just by the hops. Um, but I totally understand that the hop price has gone through the roof and brewers are looking at different ways to, to bring the price down of their beer. So they're adding actual, I mean, to actual get real grapefruit zest and put it into the beer is cheaper than buying a load of hops, which is a bit of a shame. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be open and honest. I always am. It's a bit of a shame that, that brewing is heading into this direction um, but then again people's purse strings um, I'm not going to go into politics I'm not going to go into into economies and and stuff like that but it must be that Captain Lawrence think that they can sell more beer cheaply or keep the price down of the beer if they actually add some grapefruit zest into the beer rather than rather than hops let's dive in It's nice. It's a nice beer. It, it's it's not like the aroma suggested that it was going to be totally dominated by this kind of zesty grapefruit additive that they put into the beer. But not additive, addition. That's the word, addition. The grapefruit addition to the beer rather than additive. Additive suggests that it's some kind of weird ice cream paste that has gone into the beer. There's still some malt. There's still some sweetness from the malt. It's slightly biscuity. Um, there's, a, there's a bitterness on the back end which suggests that they've used a combination of hops and grapefruit. I've not looked at the ingredients, I will do in a moment. Uh, yeah, it's it's refreshing. If I was in America, I mean, I'm not sure if it's brewed in San Francisco. Uh, did I, where did I get San Francisco from? Um, they are from New York. 
So I, I imagine on a hot New York's day, this would be terrific. Really kind of drinkable and refreshing. 4.5% ABV, so you could tuck a few of these away, as they've suggested, a session IPA. But I don't know, it, I, I'm standing here in February drinking this in the UK, and I know for a fact that it's colder in New York in February than it is here. And I just wonder... See, that, that's where the grapefruit zestiness and the... the, the that's where it don't sit so well for me. That's that's where, in the right conditions, the beer would be terrific. But I would sooner, even in February, cold February's day, I'd sooner have a beer with, with real hops in than I would something with grapefruit in. Because this just takes you, it takes your mind to hot summer's day, which is fine absolutely fine but it's not a hot summer's day i don't want a can of lilt i i, I want i want something that, that 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 more resembles a beer if that makes if that makes sense but good effort i i i mean my my opinions might be completely different to your opinions you might be standing here thinking to yourselves well no, I, I really don't agree with this guy. And that's absolutely fine. Comment in the comments box. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, per perhaps I'm becoming a, a bit middle-aged, long in the tooth. Beers should be brewed with hops. Maybe that's that's just, just where I am in life now. And um, But but your, your opinion most definitely counts, so comment. I'm going to rate it. It's drinkable, it's refreshing, it's nicely carbonated. There's no faults in the beer. Is it any? So it's been water, hops, yeast, malted barley, natural grapefruit flavour. And that's it. No no description either on the beer. Which I, I mean, sometimes American brewers put a lot of, a, a big description on the beer. Sometimes they don't bother at all. So I like it. Um, I'm going to give it a 6. I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Uh, it's just, just, just my own opinion. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!